are you uh let me know when you can see my screen again and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, do you see how much I worked on that? Uh, that was all in the month of April. Yeah. The difference between um, uh, the new one and this is this one, you don't have to worry about temperature. You only have to worry about food, water, health, and um, oxygen. The new one, you have to worry about temperature because it's, um, like around the Arctic area. But I'm gonna start a new save. Luckily, it'll be rather fast loading this up because um, once you get later in the game, really, it, um, it'll take forever to load things up. Well, yeah. There we go. Let me know when you can see the press any button to continue, because I know it's a little delayed. I suppose you've already seen this opening scene. Basically, your ship you were on crashed. And, um, you just got uh, put in your life pod and you, uh, basically ejected yourself, you know? I'm not gonna say a whole lot about the story, um, like why it crashed and stuff, because I want you to find that out for yourself. But that's for, like what's happening starting out. Life pods on fire. Fix that. Then you got Karen talking to you. The, uh, woman voice for the computer we call Karen. Sounds like Karen from... Oh. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. So basically in here you got your radio. Um, for story um uh, reasons, I don't think you should use your radio until basically the end of the game. You can if you want to. But um I don't want to ruin the story, but uh There's stuff that happens if you don't. Do that? By the way, uh, you always have two torches, two food, and two water in the storage thing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> no. It's basically like a starter pack. <coughs> Thank you. 
Give me a minute. What's up, guys? Oh, you're playing Subnautica? Oh, okay. Hey, Lee. Oh, it's Alex. Thought it was Lee. I just got online. Neutron's watching uh, Lucifer play Subnautica. Josh has me muted or has muted everybody. Sorry about that, I'm back. Who is you? Who's talking? <laughs> oh, everybody joined while I was gone, apparently. I put the meat in the oven where it's a little bit warmer than here. 
Okay, so what are you seeing right now, you John? Like, uh, is it looking at scanner or not yet? Okay. Yeah, so basically, these things right here are the first things you want to get. The scanner, the repair tool. Flashlight, not so much. I'd never use the flashlight. You also want the survival knife and the habitat builder. Those are the four most important things for to start out with, you know? Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to go over here and see what you need to build the battery. Two acid mushrooms and copper, right? Uh, easy enough. And you can even... Go in here, and I think, oh, maybe not. I thought you could pin the recipes, but I guess not. But you'll go down here, you'll find two acid mushrooms and some copper. You see these purple things? These are acid mushrooms. Grab two of those. Oh, okay. <sighs> You'll see these pieces of um, metal salvage, they'll turn into four titanium. Titanium is basically the building block of everything. Titanium is, you're going to need titanium for fucking everything. Um, starting out, you're not going to have that much of an oxygen tank. You can build better oxygen tanks, and I'll show you that after I get some of this other stuff. Oh. Okay, so I need... Oh. You'll see a rock like this. It'll say uh, limestone. Outcrop. And it has a chance to either give you... That gave me titanium. It gives you either titanium or copper. So, uh... Here's... Oh, here's another one. That gave me copper. Uh, just since I see it, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one too. Uh, that one gave me titanium. Hey Josh. Hey Josh. If you wanted to see some of Subnautica, um, Josh, uh, I'm streaming it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so then you're gonna go over here and you'll build the battery. Now what you need next is the... Oh. We got titanium over here out, so we have what we need to make the scanner. <clears throat> the scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Yes, or, um, did you notice that middle salvage I was picking up? It turns into four titanium if you put it here, see? So you go ahead and do there, and it'll turn into four pieces of titanium. In a minute. I'll drink it in a minute. Okay. So, uh... I will let you know, you don't want to venture out at night very much. <clears throat> this over here is your crash ship. Um, let me know when you see it. Um, do not go too close to it until you have the radiation suit because there is tons of radiation on that ship. But I'm saying you have to be like right up on it or something, you know, before you start feeling the radiation. But it will murder you. Yeah, until you get the radiation suit. That's, um, a, at a certain point, um, you'll unlock the radiation suit. It'll be like day three, I think. Um, for food and water, these things, these uh, bladder fish, can be either used as food or water. Um, the other kind of fish 
can be just used for food. The bladder fish, uh, they have the water in them so they can be turned into water. Also, you can scan basically everything. Ugh. I will let you know that not everything wants to be scanned. They will try to kill you, some of them. Like this thing. Dying. That is toxic. No, now I'm on Subnautica dying. <laughs> no, I, I thought it was Robbie that was dying. But yeah, you can scan basically everything. Did the monkey steal it? Did the monkey steal it? Yes. <laughs> um. In the second game, they'll actually have these monkeys that can just come up and steal your shit. It's bullshit. That's not in this game, though. Ooh. Flatterfish. And so I'm gonna... Basically, uh... This is gonna be your life pod for the first little bit. Uh, this will be basically the your your base. Once you build a habitat builder, you can build other um, another base. And I'll show you how you'll be able to get all the stuff for those bases. No, it's a survival horror game. This is not just like Minecraft. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <clears throat> now, let's see. Okay, so. Yeah. So I can build an uh, oxygen tank, which you're going to need. It'll upgrade my oxygen, I believe, to 75. Let's see. Maybe it's 90. Oh, no, 75. So that's a standard O2 tank. Um, and that'll make it so you can stay under um, the water a little bit longer. <clears throat> now there are way... Scan this. There are ways that you can go deeper down without having to come all the way up for oxygen. I'll see if I can... Find one of the things you can get. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> uh, what do you mean? Yeah, there are things like this. However, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, there are certain vehicles you can get that, um, if you sit in them, they uh, they have air in them and stuff, so you don't have to go all the way up to get air. However, every vehicle and stuff like that has a crush depth, so uh, only a certain depth they can go down. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus, there's uh, little different crashes you can get stuff from. Yes. Uh, you have to buy it with Zen. Oh, that's enough. Go to, go to the Zen shop and buy it under the VIP tab. Okay, you see that brain looking thing? Do you see what I'm talking about, Eudrum? Oh, the brain looking thing. 
the brain coral. Um, there are little air pockets that can come up, and you'll find these at certain places. And they'll get your air up. Oh! And you'll see. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. And you'll see little boxes like this when you get here that uh, will have fragments in them. Basically fragments. Sorry, what, Josh? Nice. Um, basically these fragments are fragments of things and when you get a certain amount of fragments, depending on what the item is, um, you'll get uh, to the ability to make that item. Um, like that base, or if you make a new one. <clears throat> yes, and um, you notice how it's blue. You can do this to change the color to make it easier to see. Which that's what I usually do. Signs stabilizing. No, that will always be on there. And if you make a base of your own, you can get these um, beacons. <clears throat> All right, you can fuck off, Mr. S By the way, any of these guys would normally attack you. It's just this one's stupid. Okay, you see that? That's like a wreck that you could get fragments from. As soon as I get air, I'm going to uh, go down there and look at that. Ugh! You will notice that first you kind of go slow. However, there's things you can get to make you go faster. Like this is this right here is a fragment to one of those things. I think that's a fragment too. Oh, it's a bioreactor fragment. That's good for later. What else we got here? Bioreactor fragment. Oh, and I have to go back up because Oxygen. Oxygen. Then we can go back down there. What's up? Hey. Watching what? Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm showing him some stuff on Subnautica. Oh yeah? What in the- Okay. I've never seen that before. God damn it. Oh, did you? Oh, you did, Josh? Basically, after I scanned that, I had to go I... fucking back up for oxygen. Q. 
Yeah, but um, it gets easier as you go. Actually, now that I've shown you the early stuff, I could uh, you want I could save this and show you some of the stuff you can get. You just gotta get the uh, better shit, you know? Yeah. Well, also, it's not multiplayer, so... Oh yeah, no, nothing like Minecraft. I mean, it has a crafting system, yeah. Actually got into it, but... Uh, yeah, a lot like that. You're talking about No Man's Sky. No? Oh. Oh, The only game I know that's like that is um, No Man's Sky. <laughs> what do you need help with, Josh? What do you mean trying to find the boss? Huh. I've never heard of it. Yeah, that's the way below zero was. In Zernotica. Below Zero has been out on PC for, um, like, two years. But, um... Okay. Uh-oh. So basically, right now, this is my base. Nothing special to look like. I've had bigger bases, you know. Yeah, I got... Right now, I am in what's called a prawn suit. Uh, that's my Cyclops. Ignore the fact that it says Seamoth. Seamoth is inside of the Cyclops. It has a bay. Uh, this is my prawn suit. And, um... Mine shit and stuff like that. This is my base. Oh, well, there's also a storyline, too. Yeah. Oh, you're okay. You can... 
You can get this moon pool. You can put um, your prom suit or your sea moth in here. Uh, the scanner room. It, uh, take, quit taking all my power by scanning. There's these different cameras you can control. You could literally have your scanner room look for stuff. Let's say that. And because I have a certain chip in my um, head, I guess. Pretty cool. Do what, Josh? I'm on Neverwinter, but I'm in the uh, main menu. I'm this is my right Cyclops. Josh. Josh. Yeah. Ignore the fact that there's a fish in here. It's a glitch. Um, no, it's not like a base, but smaller. It's a vehicle. A big ass submarine. See? Oh, well, I have to turn it on. Hold on. See? Big ass vehicle. And then, the one I was going to show you starting out, it... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Sure as hell did. Took me a while, though. Uh, you also have the sea moth, which... Um, that's what I was trying to show you earlier. Oh, that's the... This is one of the early things you get. This is the sea moth. It's a little bit smaller, but it can only go down 300 meters, versus that one could go, I think, 900? Which, uh, this you can get upgrades too, I just don't have it, but that's what the sea moth looks like. Get storage to it. Oh, food. Oh, rotten food. Uh, so that in here, and... Goodbye. Wherever you went. Oh, I guess you're just gonna sit there? Okay. There is a game, and it's free this month. It's free this month, actually. Uh, Stranded Deep. That's what Stranded Deep is. Yeah, that's one of the free games this month. It's Battlefield 5 and Stranded Deep. But yeah, that's the that's kind of the some of the stuff you can get higher up after you've been playing a little while. See that? Oh, it looks like this can go down 500 meters. Maybe just the prawn suit. They can go down 900 meters. Oh, you also have like certain guns you can get. This is the stasis rifle. Oh. Let me show you what I can do to bitches with this. Now there is no lethal weapons. Unless the, uh, you count the knife. The knife, I guess, is technically a lethal weapon. You see the sand chart? I missed. Hold on. Oh. There it goes. Damn it, I shouldn't have shot again. I guess you you can get something uh, a stasis field basically and you can get a stasis field as small as that okay well smaller than that as small as that and as big as the one I just did there's also the um repulsion gun there it goes you can grab shit move it you know 
Ow. But yeah, that's some of the stuff you can get. 